All right. We are here. I'm get, I'm, let me wait till uh, my screen opens. There we go. All right. Sit up. I won't show my guts the best. Oh, we've been chatting away here. And I've got some folks just chomping at the bit to get in. So let me... Um, let me bring uh, Dan Rose. Dan Rose up. Dan, hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. What are you up to? You've been chomping at the bit to get in here. Yeah. That's nice. <laughs> what you got to show us, Dan? Uh, I got the sand in that you told me. Oh, okay. And the yeah. plants. Nice. Did you get the plants from me? How do I get them from you? Oh, well, I have a uh, an online store. Uh, I'll ask somebody to post the link. And okay. then you can get it. You'll be able to get it off of there. Okay. So let's see your take. All right. So I got to. How see. do I do this? I don't know. You turn your camera around. Ain't working. It ain't gonna work. Don't worry about it. Let's just look at the tank. Turn around the other way. Yeah. Oh wow, that's a big tank. Oh, that's really pretty. I got. I just got some shrimp. I don't know if you can see the shrimp in there now. Not yet. I got more. What uh, size? What size tank is that, Dan? That's a ten. A, tw a twenty. A twenty. It yes. looks bigger. You've got it laid out nice. Let's look at it some more. I want to. Okay. I want to get an eyeful here. It's pretty cool looking tank. Now, what do you what do you think about the powerheads? You think I should get rid of them or just leave them? No, I would leave it. It's it's certainly not hurting anything. Okay. Um, you got fish in there that that will appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, I think it's fine. Not okay. A and, and one other thing, um, you said leave the tank alone now. Yeah, there's. You really don't need to do anything. Okay, so what do I do with like? If, do I have to clean the filter regular away, right? Uh, I well, what do you got? A sponge filter or a? a I got an aqua the top. Yeah. Yeah, an I got an aqua clear. clear. Um. What you want to do is clean it about, if you really want to go at it hard, clean it every six months. Okay. Otherwise, so leave it for a year. So don't change the charcoal at all then? Well, it's meaningless to do it. And, and the reason is charcoal is active in the tank for... For about 12 to 24 hours. Okay. After that, it's no longer active. So if you wanted to keep active charcoal in there, you would have to change it every, literally every day. Wow. And it's, it's just meaningless to do that. And there's no particular need for it. I mean, initially, it'll get out some heavy metals and toxins if there are any in there. After that, it, it's done its job. There's nothing okay. else really for it to do. Okay. So, so you know. Leave it. Yeah, just leave it. Let it be substrate. That's what okay. it'll be. It'll build up bacteria around it. It'll act like um, like substrate. So okay. it'll be beneficial. Okay. That sounds good. And then the power head, I can just leave that. I don't have to change that. I little... think it looks fine. I don't think it's a problem at all. So don't change that that tube. Not unless, not unless you 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 get the feeling that that the fish are being stressed in some way. 
Okay. Try to get into this mic better. Okay, that sounds good. <laughs> right. I think yeah, it looks wonderful. You. I'm yeah, real real happy about it. It looks yeah, I'm gonna really start a nice. Ten, a ten gallon soon, so I'm gonna do it the other way with the oh, dirty cool. thing. Yeah. Good deal. Okay. Well, thank, thank you, Dan. Very much. Thank nice you. to see you. You bet. You too. I'm I'm having trouble getting adjusted here. Ah. See if I can sit up straight. Get I need to get the camera up a little. I think it's a little too low. Let's and it doesn't want to. Uh, let's, that's too high. That's a little better. Trying to get more of the tank. There. Such as it is. Who's here? Cat B. Psycho is here. Uh, Cornwall, we've been chatting for half an hour. Oh, nice to see you all. Hello, hello, everybody. Jenny's here. Celeste G. Let me get you a wrench. Let's see if we can do that. Add moderator. Yeah, the wrenches have been popping up pretty quick, so maybe it's working. Who knows? Let's be do. The best half hour of your life. What are you talking about, Cornwall? Oh, that. Well, it was fun. We had fun. Call here just want your plan. Celeste. I hope they came out okay. Let me explain something. Um, what do we got? Lord, there are 85 people up here already. We, um, who's here? Oh, that stands still here. Two weeks ago, we over-ordered. Oh, here's John Haley. Let's get John up here. Hey, John. Hey, Father Fish. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Nice to see you. <laughs> nice seeing you. Thank you. I Would wanted you... to show you all some uh, out of my big tank. My angels had some babies. I got oh, them how wonderful. Up. Here's what I got them set in. Wow. Very cool. So I got the water rotating through the ten gallon there, and they're up here. See if you can oh, see. Oh, all them. right, all right. Can you see them swimming? How? Old, yeah, I do. How old are they? Oh, they're like they just stopped, started swimming. They were wiggling like two days ago. Now they're okay. Free so we're like three days old. Three yeah. days hatched. Yeah, that's <laughs> cool. Nice. Yeah. What What are you gonna feed them? Uh, right now, only thing I have is flake. I'm crushing it up, and I got some frozen baby brine, but they're eating it. So, yeah, frozen baby brine will work. Yeah, they're um, eating it. Yeah, what you might want to do is thaw it out first, mix it up in some water, and then you can strain that like through a handkerchief. Right. And that way, you're not getting any of the uh, the the waste that might be in the water they're frozen in but okay, that, yeah, that'll yeah, be perfect it, that's a perfect getting, food yeah, yeah. things be getting a little waste so yeah i'll do that i'll skim it like you said through some panty yeah or yeah yeah thaw it out and fill it and then then strain it and feed them that that's a perfectly good food they okay. they, they take that real well okay well, y'all seen all my other things, so I just wanted to show you the little babies. Well, tonight. thank you. So, Congratulations. We'll yeah, look well, forward to watching these guys grow up. Yeah, right. Me too. <laughs> right. Thank you, John. All right. Have a good night. Good night. Thanks. Guess who's here? Kevin is here. Hey, Kevin. What's up? How are you? Good. How are you doing? I'm good. Good to see you. Same here. How are you doing? I'm good. Um, let me try to turn this around. There I redid is. my I redid my seventy five. Wow. 
That's a are they Tetris? There's a big Tetris in there. Yeah, those are I moved my flame back bleeding hearts from my 120 into here. They are big and the geos are gorgeous. I had this one male and then I found these other four. I got four more, two there. Wow. And there's they're, the other two. Yeah, they are such nice fish. I really, really like geos. It's a gentle fish, attractive, just not real easy to spawn. But right. you know, when, when you get them, it's like gold. It's a real, um, a real challenge. Right. But yeah, I love these. I had a whole bunch of Valen here and I took a bunch out just for the simple fact they like to sift through the sand. Right. But the Val is already growing back. Oh, it's a weed. It's an yeah. absolute, absolute weed. And then I threw this I threw this stump in here and it's floating. I kind of I kind of wish it would stay that way. <laughs> well, it may for a long time. If it's a hardwood, it could be, it could very well stay there for a long time. See the pencil fish? Oh, yes, I sure do. Nice. They're neat. What kind of pencil are they? Do you know? It's the dwarf, the uh, Nanostomus marginatus. The marginatus, yeah, nice. There's so many different pencil fish. It's a really cool, right. a really cool family of fish. Nice. And then the the 33 long is doing good. I bought some uh, that's I got tank. some new ruby ruby tetra or ruby barbs. Ruby barbs, yeah. Look at them. They're, they're young. They're busy guys, aren't they? Yeah, they are. They got a school of them. Wow. And then I got some snake skins in there yet. Huh. Cool. A lot of Al. Yeah, I had a bunch of uh, pennywort up on the top. Oh, uh, yeah. But I had to pull it off because it was blocking oh, too I know. much. It will. Yeah, it was blocking too much light. Right. Yeah, I but get it. It's a mess. These ruby barbs, the males get like a real bright nose. Huh. Oh, and yeah. you can start you can start right. to see the red. Yep. Yep. Cool. And I'll quick show you the the 120, it's slowly look growing at, in. Look at this guy. <laughs> uh, nice I got a I yeah. got a bunch of angels. I see that. They look pretty good. Where'd you get them? Uh, from a guy I know. Locally. Locally, yeah. Oh, nice. See the the ruby yeah. tetras. Oh yeah. Huh. That's an albino angel, isn't it? That's a Philippine blue there. The 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 one. The, oh, the, this one. Yeah, is that an albino? Uh, yeah. it's a Bulgarian green, I think. Oh, uh, wow. Looks like it's got red eyes. Can't um, Maybe not. I think it does, maybe. Yeah, it does. Yeah, look like it. Cool. But I got some temple. I got some crypts I got at a swap. I got to get an order with you, though. I had a really huge Amazon sword right here. Yeah. But I split it up into three plants. Uh -huh. I've got some big ones right now. I've got big Amazon and big Oriental. A couple of really what? big Orientals and a couple of big. I think I've got one Amazon left. Snag That's it cool. Quick. It'll be gone quick. These are pistols I spawned. Oh, they are so easy to breed. And they're so cool because they'll keep their babies in a community tank. Until they finally all get eaten, but they'll usher them around for days and weeks. Epistos will do that too. They're pretty neat. They are. They really are. 
Nice. But do you see that that sword back here? It's probably hard to see, but it's really the one that I split. It's really growing already. Okay. I there's like four new leaves already. Have you tried any of the Apana uh, Jaten, the bulb plants? I'm looking for the lace. I have it. Do you really? I do, and they're sprouting. They're growing really well. So I'm I've gonna have some, to. I'm gonna have I've to get some, on your website. Yeah, I've got some nice ones. I'd like it in the back. Yep. 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 So, but I don't want to take up all your time here. Well, so, thank you so much, Kevin. Nice to see you. I'm gonna have to get on your site and look at those plants. All right. All right. Dana just popped in. We gotta go see Dana. All right. So, Bye. Sounds good. On your site and look at the plants. Look at this. Look at this. What are, what are we looking go, at here? Hi there. There we go. Hey, Father Fish. I just wanted to show you an update on my Java Moss. Check that out. Oh, uh, wow. That is massive. It looks, well, that's amazing. <laughs> it looks yeah, like I mean, air grass. Really massive. Yeah, I see that. It really does. It really does. So I just thought you might find that interesting. <laughs> I do. I do. I, I can't get into the. I'm, gonna, I'm new. I'm going the wrong way. That's the problem. <laughs> get the camera turned on me. That might help. There. Yeah, that might help a little bit. I don't really have anything t truly new to show in this tank, but just one second. Let me get over here to, oh, sorry about that. This one. This is the one that I set up about two weeks ago, I think. Okay. I had to take the, to take the fish out because they were gasping. It's got a bacterial bloom. But it's oh, starting all right. to already clear up. <laughs> yeah, it will. It'll clear up. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. But it's it's already got cyclops in it, um, different types of little worms. So I nice. think it's healthy. Right, so. right. <laughs> yeah, the that. best thing to do with a tank like that is to not panic. Just yeah, let it be. It will work itself out. Yes, sir. I was I was talking about something before we went live. I'm mm -hmm. I'm coming. I I've been trying to figure out what the next iteration of father fish is with a natural tank and i think i've got it it's a oh, awesome it's it's a contractual relationship between the fish keeper and nature i i love it that neat so what we do is our our part of the deal is to provide what's needed and nature's part of the deal is to make it happen Hey, that sounds like a plan. <laughs> I love that. There's a green. Daphnia, that, this is my green bowl that I'm getting really good and green for my Daphnia culture that I'm going to be starting again. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. Now, here's what you want to do. Use the green water to feed the culture by taking some out and putting it in the Daphne culture. Don't put Daphne in that. Oh, awesome! Thank you. That's what I was going to do. Use that. Minute. You, yeah, take take it out by the cupful, and and feed them with it. Oh, absolutely. That oh, way, because awesome. if you put them in there, they'll just wipe it out. It'll be gone. Oh, yeah. And it's hard enough to get that, so you want to kind of keep it going. Um, absolutely. And you've learned how to do that. So the idea is. As you take as you take some stuff out, you want to refeed it and and refill it in order to be able to keep it going. Absolutely, that will be awesome. Thank you for that tip. <laughs> you bet. That's nice. Now yeah. the the only trick is when you mm -hmm. do that, you do not if you're if you're doing like a net, mm -hmm. don't put the net in the green water. Oh, okay. Because it ha if it's got Daphne on it, you do you want to keep the Daphne out of there. So do everything you need. Separate them at at some distance, so nothing will splash into it. 
You might even put a cloth, like a handkerchief or something, over it. Yes, sir. Not to cover, not to cover the light because you need the light, but to keep anything, any Daphne from from getting in there, and just do what you can to maintain the culture as a pure culture. I'll definitely do that. And the other thing is to get another one going, because when it fails, you want to back up. There's my backup. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Good girl. This one actually ended up being there by accident, turned green. And I, once I found it turned green, I'm like, I've got to keep this. <laughs> nice. You bet. That's exciting. <laughs> Let me get a couple. We got a couple of folks here. Let me bring uh, some. Up. Hang around, Dina. I, uh, I'll just put you in the background. You'll be able to, you'll be able to chat with us. Awesome. I'm, I'm going to go get on my um my computer real quick, and I'll chat with you that way. Okay, that's fine. Okay, thank Talk you. Later. You bet. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Okay. Oh, hello. Hello, folks. Hi, how are you? Oh, good. It, it, it's Henry, by the way. Henry, nice to meet you, Henry. Yes. I, I've been talking to you for a while. I, I thought um today I, I'd give you a Father Fish exclusive. <laughs> oh, nice. All right. Um, it's something that I've I've noticed you you're interested in um, very high levels of illumination. It's something that I've been interested in for some time. I've been doing this for about three years, the low tech. Yeah. And um, I, I brought in um, people probably aren't aware, but I've got this jar experiment going on at the moment with um, deep sand beds. It's not your deep sand bed. It's it's the reverse. It's dirt on top of sand. And um, huh. I, I just wanted to show. Uh, what I, I, I call it extreme photosynthesis. And okay. it, it, it sounds a bit crazy because, you know, photosynthesis is photosynthesis, but basically what I think is going on is it's just a very high level of illumination. And um, I've got, I'll see if I can show my jar. Um, don't know if I can switch the, the camera. Hang on. No, I've uh, probably got to, let's see. Yeah, that's that's basically it. You can see that now. Oh, that's good. Oh, I yeah. Myself in the shot. So what I'm going to do, that, that's one of the jars, and that's a, that's um, Glossus stigma of latinoids, which is a pretty common plant in the hobby. And um, that jar has, I've just brought it in from outside. It hasn't received any sunlight today because these jars get two hours of direct sunlight a day. The rest of the day is just ambient. Um, but obviously sunlight is um, very, very high lighting. And um, what I'm going to show is I'm just going to, I sort of, been observing this for a while um as i say i call it extreme photosynthesis i've got a very bright torch um it's about two two thousand five hundred lumen i think and wow. um what we're going to see you can see you can see that this is i can't get hang on i don't think i can get too close oh let me try let me see if i can get a bit closer sorry yeah so that's basically it's dark so if i turn on the light now now as we're speaking oh hang on yeah, that's so. I just want to get the bright. That's the bright light there. So it's probably going to be too too bright, really, for your viewers to see. I mean, frankly, right. I, I need I need sunglasses. In fact, I think I'll go and get my sunglasses. Um, it's it's a it's a spotlight. Now, what what I've done is I've basically spotted in the center of the jar. I'm I'm focusing on a on a couple of plants. I don't want to do the whole jar. So the the beam is concentrated in the middle. Now, what what. I hope I'll be able to show is that after about three or four minutes, you'll actually see pearling from the plant, which is really? extraordinary because as you and I know, pearling should occur when there's oxygen saturation in the water. But this is this is first thing in the morning. Okay, people will argue that the CO2 levels at its highest because the plants have been respiring all night. But um, I've noticed this for a while. And um, I have an actual, an even brighter light than this. It's crazy. And I did it with a crypt once and it was bubbling like, it was like it was being boiled alive. And what I think's going on is I think that the the plant, in fact, I just saw a bubble then. Wow. The plant is producing so much oxygen in such a quick space of time that the water hasn't got time to absorb that oxygen and it's actually streaming. In fact, I can see some bubbles now. That's amazing. It hasn't even been a minute. Wow. I, I suppose... I suppose you can't see anything, right? No. No. Can't see no. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, the, the, the level of light is so high that, yeah, it's just been saturated. Yeah, it just blinds the camera. Yeah, yeah. I, I see that now. No, yeah. that's a real shame. I, I actually just saw a bubble then. 
it's starting to bubble. So but I'll just talk you through it. So basically what I think we're observing is not what we think is happening with oxygen saturation. Um, so uh, the reason I'm talking about this is that people will say, oh, well, look, this is just normal. A plant's under extreme light. It's just bubbling. But I think what's going on is I think the plants are accessing the carbonates in the water. This is relatively hard water. So if the oh. plants are... If, they, if they've got ready access to carbon, carbon, not carbon dioxide, forget the gas for a moment, um, it suggests that they are using the carbonate. And um, the reason I'm fascinated by it is, as you know, I've been struggling with water hardness lately. And um, mm. I've noticed what you've been saying for a long time, that um, plants actually strip the water of the water salts. <coughs> so, for instance, you do top up with hard water, and I've started doing that too. Right. And, and I'm, I'm wondering if this phenomenon is actually related because – Maybe the, the, the low tech, which is obviously not injecting with carbon dioxide, um, if the plants are able to access this carbon from carbonates, that is related to the hardness of the water. Right. And I'm, one, I'm wondering if it's related. My problems with rainwater lately and uh, my water seems to be becoming more acid. So, yeah, I thought I'd just show you because I know you're – so I won't I – won't, unfortunately, you can't see it. It's a real shame. Um, it is pretty crazy. <laughs> but, uh, it, it, yeah, it's really interesting. I've seen something comparable uh, in in my thirty here, which I have very very intense light on. I've got five hundred watts of floodlight on yeah, it. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot of light on it, um, and it it'll pearl until the plant mass it's purling mm. right now in fact and, mm. until the plant mass reaches such a proportion particularly on the surface with with the duckweed with the surface plants that's yep. the control when i get yep. rid of the surface plants i get the i get a very intense um um uh, bubbling but does that happen like almost immediately, like at the start? Or it's, see, I I had not really noticed, but I think so. Well, that's what's curious about it. See, because I, I I've done low tech for three years now, and I, I'm familiar with oxygen saturation. It, it as you say, oxygen's very hard to measure. My, I, I know when I see pearling in a tank at the end of the day in sunlight, that's obvious that the water's full of yeah, oxygen. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah, but this right. this is quite strange. I tell you what's also strange if you. You you didn't say extreme photosynthesis. I think you just said a high level. If you go on Google and you look up extreme photosynthesis, you'll you'll virtually find nothing. No, nobody seems interested in this phenomenon. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I, I did some find some. Well, we do uh, see it in nature. Well, I found a reference to some salt water um, thing on on some academic site, but but it, to me it seems that in the low tech hobby this is important because we're told that um, if you don't inject carbon dioxide. You should lower the light and um, uh, what's the other thing? Uh, there's two things. But I'm finding it's the opposite. I'm finding that actually when I stopped using carbon dioxide, I found that the high light was actually helping me. So I still huh. find that. Huh. Uh, that's yeah, I don't have a problem with it. I was curious about it and the, the fish are healthier, the plants are healthier. It's closer. We, I, I think it's very difficult for us to duplicate sunlight. I mean, sunlight yeah. is is more intense virtually than any kind of light we can put yeah. on a fish tank. I, I think this is pretty much. I do a lot of sunlight. I think this is actually sunlight here. You think um, it's close it's, to it? It's about uh, that level. Yeah, it's two thousand five hundred yeah. lumen. But I, I have a light which is twice as bright as this. It's actually a spotlight wow. in the car, and it's wow. crazy. That that's the one I put the crypt under. It was like the crypt was being boiled alive. I mean, I'd almost be reported for plant abuse. I mean, it was incredible yeah, yeah, to watch. Yeah. Um, now, there's no way that that was sustainable. That crypt, I only did it for like a minute or two. Um, yeah. And I could understand people would be dubious because they'd be saying, well, maybe there's a reserve of carbon dioxide in the plant from the night, um, you know, but I really strongly suspect that it's carbonates. I think and, you're probably right. That makes is, more sense. Yeah. Well, see, the problem then, if it is carbonates, then that tells us that hard water, which I know you're a fan of and I am as well, because where I live, all the water's hard. Um, that means that water hardness is actually very important for your plants. It's the opposite of right. what they tell you, right. which is, right. you know, if you're above pH 7, you're not going to be able to grow plants. 
the, the reality is that nearly all of the plants that are popular in the hobby are brackish water plants. Exactly, yeah. I'm just going to yeah. turn this off now. I'll just see if there's some bubbles. There should be. It's funny, I'm not, um, after saying all that, oh, yeah, there's a few bubbles. It's not, I have to say it's not very extraordinary. It's not as good yeah. as I was expecting, but I'll just see if I can actually spot that now. I, I, I really couldn't see much. And frankly, I had another one out there this well, morning. We need to get, you know, we need to, no. are you on the Discord channel yet? Um, yeah, I am. I just, the trouble is I just, I, it's been, I just found it so addictive. I prefer to stick to YouTube because I just found it was in, it was interfering with my, my Have um, you been on have you been on the show on my Discord? I have in the past, but I, I just I was spending far too long on there. I, I really oh, well. spent far too long on YouTube. It, it just, it's a good I, way I, to be able to demo this though. That's uh, true. I got yeah, you know, I got I gotta run. I got some people hanging no worries, fire no. back here who want to jump on. Thank yeah, you no, really so much. To meet you. I've been wanting hey, to meet you for a you while. Too. Fantastic. Yes. I appreciate it very much. Thank, thank you. Bye. Bye. Hey, guys. There she is. Where's Catton? Here he is. All right. Turn it off. You got it. What? Oh, God, Father Fish. <laughs> how you doing? Dina, how are you? Hey. I'm doing good. How are you doing, Captain? Well, all right. I, since I was summoned here from the show, I thought I would turn up. Yeah, I suppose uh, ostensibly to give you an update on what's been going on with my very first father fish aquarium. Oh, all right. So uh, I, I got to tell you, first of all, the show is incredible. I love the show. I can get an answer to anything, and it, uh, sometimes it seems like it's an instant answer. That is so but true. The help on the shoal, let me tell you how good the help on the shoal is, because Father Fish was just talking about it. The help on the shoal is so good that I had a staff member come out to my members page and make a suggestion on my tank without me even asking any questions. Which, I mean, that's pretty incredible. That's like somebody coming to your house and saying, hey, I can fix your uh, lawn for you. Yeah, really? It's nice. great. Does, I love the shoal. The elite oh, gamer guy, he's back. I saw it. I saw it. I'm not gonna worry about it. We got a bunch of people like working on it. They'll, they'll, it, it'll get dealt with. I'm not gonna spend an, an an instant on it. Not worth the trouble. Thank you, Jam. Sure thing. So, uh, love your tank. <laughs> oh well, it's not much to show. I'm sorry, I don't have a lot to show people. Um, but I did, uh, my, the recommendation that I got from the show was you need to change your sand cap. So after about a month and I, I was thinking this, this might, I was a little hesitant. I got to tell you, cause my motto, father fish has been follow the life. That's your quote. Right. Right. And the fish I had in here is looking good. You see, there's a Cory cat. He's a red laser cat. So cute. The, the, the shrimp that are in there, they're doing great. But the recommendation was I needed more sand cap, and I did. It was a mess. I think I was drinking too much rum when I poured that first sand cap. Uh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I got it squared away, as you can see. She's nice and level now. Uh, I just want to thank you again. I got my resurrection jar going. And you bet. You bet. Over here, uh, this is for Lush and Salty. I've really enjoyed the guests that you've had in. Oh, uh, wasn't it fun? It was oh, a lot listen, of fun. When, Saturday night. At seven o'clock, Lucas and I are gonna do a battle royal. Oh, that's oh, awesome. oh, that's gonna be great. Lucas is amazing. Lucas was an inspiration to me nine years ago when I first found LRP Aquatics. So right. shout outs to Lucas, he's great. I'll let yeah. you go, Father Fish, but thanks for having me on and all the best to you. And thanks again for this amazing adventure you put me on. It's just you it's bet. just fascinating. Thank you, Jim. Zach Gray is Love here. You. Hey. Hey, Zach. Hi. <laughs> I, I just kind of stumbled upon this this evening, uh, but I, I like show and tell, and uh, I wanted to share a little bit of my story and how I came across you. I have been uh, fish keeping. This is my daughter right here. She wanted to say hi. Nice. I've been fish keeping for uh, right around three years now. I've kept a lot of pets and, and had a lot of different hobbies, and, and I will say that uh, from kept keeping reptiles, I thought, how hard could fish be? 
and just found all of the uh, traditional everyday advice um, not leading me down the right path and, and having frustration and stress with it. And it wasn't until a, one time when I had ick and I had an aquarium where I didn't want to use chemicals and I was just trying to scour the internet of how c this has to be dealt with other than just throwing chemicals at the fish that I stumbled up across your video about cranking the heat up. And I was like, well, I've got nothing to lose. I, I don't, I don't know this old fella, but I'm going to crank the heat up. And oh, about God. six weeks later, um, all the ick was gone and I've never had ick in the tank again. This is my uh, jungle tank. Now this was established before I came across you. So the substrate is fluval stratum, but I've applied all the principles in terms of being hands off and, uh, and everything like that. This is the tank I really wanted to show. This was set up um, in principle and in substrate like you teach and I'm really proud of this from three years, and I was very intentional with how I set it up. It is a little fancier, but um, <clears throat> I'm using the substrate and a lot of plants, and I do have some mosses, and I used I used substrate that was established in two other planted fish tanks. That's a beautiful tank. Thank you. I'm I'm very very happy with it this is everything that i've learned in three years coming out into one i chose the fish for this tank specifically for activity uh, that's what i enjoy the most oh it's wonderful what size tank is it it is a shallow 120 gallon so wow. i was i was kind of budgeting for what's it six foot it is i was budgeting for a uh a, a larger tank to enjoy and it happens that uh, I used to, I started in salt water uh, so I, I think I don't know if you remember my comment it shocked me when I came into fresh water that more people don't talk about um, I do remember I do micro uh, microorganisms and right. uh, living creatures in your substrate to help with filtration because right. in salt water that's like the building blocks of it and when that's I drink exactly it, right red, I looked around the internet. It, it was so hard to find any information. And you were, you and uh, Lucas are the only two people still yet that I've come across that. Yeah, Alex advocate. does a pretty good job with it. Uh, if you found the, out Alex, yeah. And although this is a, a kind of fancy looking aquarium, it, it's made to look really nice. It's still a very low tech aquarium, I would say, for the exception of the lights. Right. It, it's an all-in-one system, and I really just run biological media on it, sponges, nice. biological rocks, and yeah, bacteria. Because yeah, yeah. um, I've I love found it. In, in my short time of keeping that as long as your biological media is really healthy, that you don't have to use a whole lot of mechanical. Oh, that's right. So Yeah, just enough to keep some flow. Yeah. Thanks for having me on. I just wanted Thank to show you. Thank you, Zach, today. very much. Thank you for Appreciate being on the internet. You. I'm glad I stumbled across you, and you really helped me um, learn how to keep fish better from your channel. Well, thank you. Take care. Thanks. Who's here? Harry. Henry. Hey, how's it going? Good. How are you? Doing well. Let me see here. There we there go. There we go. Side view for you. Oh, nice. Yeah, so these have been going for a few months here. Um, and, yeah, they have a good little substrate. Um, and the one thing I found a lot of success fit with is adding a bunch of houseplants to it. Oh, uh, right. So wow. got a bunch of monstera. Nice. Spider plants. Yeah, so those were my first two. Then I got these ones over here. Yeah, and these like all kind of interconnect. The plants be going crazy. Plants just be loving it. Nice. Yeah, I got some grommies in here. Some platies. Very cool. This one's a little newer. Yeah. This one's maybe a week or two old. And then this one's a little guppy tank. They've been popping out babies there. Uh-huh. Yeah, they've been happy in that one. 
that's nice. Yeah. Yeah, Very but I got, cool. got all this sand from the beach. Did you really? Good for and, you. Yeah, got all these plants from uh, just local little spots. Well, your oh, room is full of plants, isn't it? Look at oh, that. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. wonderful. Is yes, that a tapestry? What are we looking at at the far end of the room? Yeah, that's that's actually a big old tapestry. Okay. Um, so Pretty love, nice. Yeah, I love the look of it. So it kind of just yeah. ties everything together. Wow. So. Very cool. Yeah, but thanks for having me. Definitely you bet. Nice it. to have you. Take care now. Bye for now. All right. Uh, stallion. Where'd he go? Right there. Stallion, are you there? He's been waiting so long he disappeared. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> right, I'm going to turn that pump off. It's too noisy. Right, can you hear me now, yeah? Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, I hear you. Right, Father Fish, you, these you are the turn, two. Turn the, turn, 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 turn the volume turn off, the volume on, YouTube. off on YouTube. I've not got it on YouTube, no. We're getting feedback. We're getting feedback. Right, I'll, I'll leave and I'll try and come back. <laughs> well. Beautiful Gina, moment. how are you doing? I'm doing good. Been studying all day. Kind of got me a little bit foggy brained, but hey, only two uh, more tests left and I'm done with this course. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, that's cool. Nice. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mentioned, uh, I talked to Lucas yesterday. He gave me a oh. call and we, we made arrangements to get together on Saturday at seven o'clock. So oh, we're going to awesome. do a live stream. I think what we'll do is several of them. We'll do, we were trying to figure out how to do it on both of our channels and it got too complicated. So we'll do it on one channel, his or mine this week, and then do another one, maybe a week or a week or two down the road. That'll be awesome. But that'll be fun, won't it? Oh, that's, that's going to be a blast. I cannot Stallion wait for that. Still here. What's he doing? You still right. here? That's okay, he's yeah. back. Can you hear me? Yeah, that's good. Right. So this is a 10 litre uh, bowl vase. Um, I've got a massive sponge you can't see, and it's got bio gravel over the top. Okay. You, can see, you see the oxygen coming up? Yeah. So basically, it's an under gravel system. Um, my better fish is hiding at the moment. I'm trying to show okay. you the quality. Huh. You get some plants in there. Yeah, that's something I need to that's do. That's a um, pretty better. It's a pretty better, but I'll show you back in here now, Father Fish. I've got some koi that I'm not really keeping, so I'll put them in just some storage, like a storage tank. Oh, yeah. go. But I'm running, I'm running the under gravel filter systems on here as well. Look how big the substrate is. Wow. The sponge, the sponge is under there, you can't see it. Okay, look I at see. The, yeah. You see yeah. Can you see the clarity of water? I do. Looks that's great. That, that's only um, about a 20 litre tank and it's got five koi in it. Right. Right. So people people call this type of filtration system rubbish, but you can see it's doing a job. <laughs> can you see these koi? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I've been making... Um, my own food, like you know, adult food, and I've just been crushing it up and be absolutely loving it. Nice, but um, I still need to get this tank raised because it's on the floor, so it needs raising up. Um, I've had a bit of a problem with that. Well, you know, the koi probably like it on the floor because it's cooler, probably, probably far the fish, but it's not good. It's not good for my back, but I've had a bit of damp in this corner, so I brought brought in the dehumidifier. Over okay. here, I've got over here. I've got hair air vent. I made the holes a bit bigger, so I need to buy um, an oil radiator 
I need this room at 18 degrees because I'm getting no I'm getting no damp over there, but I'm getting damp over here. So I think it's a humidity issue. So that's yeah. the filtration system there. I've shown you this before. Um, nice. Beautiful. But yeah, Father Fish, I'll let you go. When I get the proper when I get the proper light and you can see. I need to get um, a four well, foot wide. Yeah. Enjoyed seeing your setup. I look forward yeah. to, to getting in deeper with you on it. Okay. See you later. Bye bye. You bet. Bye. Nice. That is a nice setup. Yeah. It's amazing what people come up with. It's it really, really is. remarkable. Yeah. Slaughters is here. A Slaughters, 3G. Who else? Cornwall has been here all day, as has Kevin. That's awesome. And I'm down to the bottom. <laughs> Celeste G. Who? Where is uh, Dark Slayer? Ashish Kaushal. Can you help me? I just bought a new 75 gallon, a complete beginner. Can you please tell me how should I set up? I'll tell you what, Ashish. You need to join us in the show. That sure. is the best way to get the best advice there is. Um, somebody post the link for him. Got it if posted. you go to, yeah, if you go to fatherfish.fish, the, the very first link at the top is our Discord channel. Get on there and meet some folks and talk to them. Tell them what you're doing. There will be people who will be very excited to help you. And then meanwhile, I'm going to give you a wrench. All right. Good job. Vinoxky is here. Hey, Vinoxky. Nice to see you. Laura. Uh, Laura wants something over her bed. What? Maybe that big long tank. That was a gorgeous tank, wasn't it? That was a gorgeous tank. Yeah, I'll bet he had that set up as a saltwater tank. I'll just bet you he did. Probably, because that, that is a huge tank. Yeah, six foot long. Oh, I'd love to have one of those. And it's a low, it's only, I don't think it was 20 inches tall. Probably 16. Probably not. That sounds and about right. 18 deep, 16, maybe 18 tall. Foot and a half tall, foot and a half deep, and six foot long. Whether they nine, uh, nine, thirteen, twenty, up to a hundred and a hundred and ten or so, I think. I think he said it was bigger than that. I bet the weight on that tank, it would have to be way over five hundred pounds. I don't even know. Yeah, but it's the distributed, so it's true. Uh, such a length that. Who's that? Oh, Laura's here. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> I hey, can't, girl. I, I've been, like, debating whether I should come on or not for, like, three weeks, and I'm so nervous, and I don't know why, because I have a channel be nervous. all the time, and this is, like, intimidating as crap to uh, me, but hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> nice to see you. Thank you. So, um, I have a few tanks, but this one in my bedroom was the one I wanted to share. It's actually the very first Father Fish tank I set up that is like a true father fish like i followed the rules and everything and that was the one i wanted to share and if i don't i don't know if it's okay to promote my channel but i did put a video up absolutely me. yeah do by all means yeah and sure. i just I actually just changed my name i was jewelry etc so you guys may know me under that name but um, okay let me turn the camera around nice okay here we go so it's a 29 gallon 29 gallon tank 30 um, inches yeah okay i did nice. the the inch of it's a uh, happy frog organic potting soil and then i have the two inches of blasting um sand okay, on top of it right and then i it was like really filled in over there but i do 
I'm starting to get back into something I used to do a while ago, which was rescue betta fish. <laughs> and okay. so I awesome. pulled some plants out. Thanks. I pulled some plants out to put into the, some hospital tanks. So right, right. that's where those went. But um, so there, and I collect crystals. Cause I have a lot. It's like my channel thing is I have way too oh, many hobbies. I love, I love crystals you. too. Oh, do you? Oh, I have. Yeah, I uh, collect them too. Yeah. Uh, the woman who works for me in the, warehouse brenda who mm -hmm. happens to be my niece she works weekends at a crystal shop oh does she does that oh, i wonder if that's oh. common in this hobby just because that affinity for natural elements you know what i mean yeah probably oh well, I just, it's, yeah right it it really fits with this thesis i'm developing that that people who do natural tanks have an agreement with nature a contractual yeah. arrangement, if you will. Yes, it does. I would, I would feel like that's got to be true. There's got to be something to that. Here's the top, by the way. So the duckweed took over, which I despise. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people can commiserate you on that one. You got some frog vet there too. Huh? It's a uh, red root. Red root. Oh, root. it is red root. Oh, it okay. Is, I've been having a hard time getting red root. I finally uh, got a little bit. Oh my God, I'd happily send you some if you... Oh, I'd love okay. to have it. Yeah, I'll send you some. Um, I do have a question for you about... Yeah. So I've got a 125 that I just picked up that hasn't been set up yet. I've just started to escape it. And I wanted to put Jack Dempsey's in it. And I've heard that they dig like crazy. So my question is, can I still employ this whole thing if I do root tabs instead of dirt? No. That won't work. So what do you suggest as far as digging? I did see the video. I'm putting down slate or something like that. For it's a 125? Yes. There are a lot of ways you can do it. Um, put an inch of dirt down, and then you can either cap it with four inches of sand, mm -hmm. which will probably be adequate, or you can put some kind of a, um, a, a cover on top of the dirt, like egg crate. Okay, I did consider that. I didn't know if that would. You be could the do way screen, but egg crate works a little better. Okay. Um, it ain't perfect, but if you then put some flat rocks mm -hmm. on the surface, they they dig because they're trying to get the hardscape. Right. So if you give them hardscape, they they will they will dig less. Okay. All right. And then. Okay. Uh, and then load it up with plants uh, like swords, val, the 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 kind of uh, bamboo you've got here, heavier stuff that can't beat up so easily. Okay. And, and as much as you can afford to put in. Okay. Just load it up. Okay. All right. I will do that. I'm so excited about that one. It's going to be a that'll be fun project. Yep. And yes. I'll I'll be documenting it on the channel. <laughs> you bet. All right. Okay, well, awesome. Thanks, I Laura. Take more of your time, but thank you. You bet. Bye, Bye. for now. Bye. Beautiful Let's... things. Who is Hello. This? Hi, Alyssa. <laughs> Hi. So this is my uh, nine gallon. I was trying to do more of an ecosystem bowl, and okay. I'm so glad I found you because <laughs> a nine I had gallon such... bowl. That's a big bowl. Yeah, it is. I didn't expect it to be that big. I was originally going to do like a small fish bowl and it turned out big, but it worked out. Now I have clown killifish in here and uh, oh, they're having babies. Really? Oh my. Oh, that's wonderful. I, I must yeah. get some from you. Where are you located? Oh, yeah. I have oh, been I'm trying in Las to get, Vegas. Are you? I've been Which trying makes to get me clown so sad. Killies. I've been trying to get clown killies for years. Yeah, I couldn't find any here either. I had to get them shipped over, and I can't do a resurrection jar like I wanted because we don't have water here. Oh, hello, Ben. <laughs> but uh, that's I had really a, cool. Yeah, I love it so much. Let me see if I have any babies at the top. Maybe not. And that dwarf water lettuce I was told yeah. was dwarf, but it's taken over that, the that entire top. That, that ain't dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so either. Right. <laughs> But the clown killifish love it, so I'm keeping oh, it. I bet they do. Yeah, that root system's ideal for for them to yeah, spawn. Yeah, that is everywhere. Wonderful. 
I love it. I love it. What are you feeding them? Um, Moina and seed shrimp. And okay. I have a little bit of the blood worms. I also do a little okay. bit of frozen sometimes, but mostly live. So have you got some culture going? No, unfortunately, I was trying to get one going for my Molina and they all died. So <laughs> I've gotten a few to just reproduce themselves in the bowl. Molina's got not... working water. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then I have a, a window over water. here. So it gives it some algae on this side. Nice. And I think they like that. Oh, yeah. yeah there's, I... there's life in there, too. It's, it's Yeah. It is inevitable. It it's dimmed. <laughs> right. Oh, there you I love it, Alyssa. That's really cool. You, uh, thank you. And thank you for your help. If it wasn't for your Discord, I don't know what I would have done. I had an ammonia spike. I found you. And I finally just left it alone, stopped doing water changes, and it was perfect. Cleared right up. Nice. Nice. So nice. thank you. Happy to see you. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. So, Kevin, Whoop, where to go? Wow. There He's he over there. Kevin Hello, Clark. Father Fish. Can you hear me? I can. Yay! That you don't sound like a Kenneth. No, I'm Kenneth. <laughs> I'm here wife. with her. Here, you want to flip it, and we'll meet him first. Oh, I don't know. How okay. To what well, you first got of here? all, we started this tank for our grandkids some years ago. And the grandkids don't, they have so much going on now, they don't come over very much anymore. So we decided uh, to take it down. But right before we decided, we found you. Oh, nice. And so we flipped it over about two months ago wow. to your method and your that plants. Is, Those are oh, all your man. plants going crazy. We've already had to trim them a million times. That is stupendous. And, uh, yeah, we just have little fish in here, guppies. And you, you're making a believer out of me. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's so much fun. And um, we've got a ton of little baby shrimp in here. They're having babies left oh, and right. I have cool. the orange, the blue, and the red shrimp. Nice. But and this is just the beginning, Father Fish. I Don't hear you. Okay, and then we have our beta tank because everybody's right. got to have a beta. You he's bet. on the bottom right now. Yeah. But he's doing really well in there. Nice more of your plants and then we just got a 40 gallon oh well and set that up probably hmm that's only that's not a that's, month old that's, that's three probably weeks three old. weeks old beautiful yeah. and look who i got in there the german, german ram i love oh him. look at that and Good i for also you. got the bolivian ram there he is oh Wait, yeah where'd he go there he oh, is oh yeah those are all oh. your all your plants, and I'm telling you, Father, a little I've honey seen them grow an inch a day. They're, it's amazing. Oh, they look growing. wonderful. Yeah. And That's there's a really, little albino cat. Really there. excellent. Really excellent. Oh, yeah, we're so excited. If we could flip this, we'd meet you. <laughs> really? Flip, flip this to the other side. Where are Don't you in leave. California? Where are you located? We're li we live in Monclova, Ohio. Oh, okay. That's not so far. No. no. Sorry, I don't know how to turn the camera. We wanted to turn it to meet you, but anyway, um, is there? A, you should have a little circle on your screen. If you tap that, it should make it where we can see you. Hopefully, a little circle. The camera. Camera. Oh, there. No, I think we turned our camera off. Okay. Oh, yeah, I think it's it <laughs> Yeah, we can't now, find it. We're a little technically we'll just challenged. Turn it around. Turn, turn it around. <laughs> okay, hold on. Hey, that works. Look at I don't that. know if you can I see us or not. Do you see us? <laughs> Bravo. That's oh no, it's still the it's still the aquarium. No, it's not. That's a that no, you. it's not. It was you. Yes. Yeah, it's a lag. There's oh, a lag with is, you yes. two. So. Okay. Well, we're very happy to have met you and well, to thank be on the show. Thank you. Delightful. Maybe we'll do it again sometime. Yeah, absolutely. All Thank right. you, guys. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. bye. Isn't that fun? That is. is Leslie, is Leslie here? Got no no devices. 
connected. She, we need to get your Leslie. We need to get your camera and your microphone working so we can yeah. bring you up. See if you can get that together. We'll we'll do it. Mercy, what time is it? Eight thirty. Um, We're in good shape. Eight forty. Yep. Oh, what else is going on? Uh, not much here. <laughs> We're going to hit, this will be the fifth week in a row that we will be over 200 orders. Oh, wow. there was something I was trying to say earlier and got cut off, and I guess I need to get into it. We had something happen two weeks ago. We put in a big order and wound up with about 30 bags of plants left over that carried over. We normally we get them in on Tuesday. They carried over until the following Monday. And that Monday we shipped them out. And of those 30, fully half of them failed. Wow. Rotted, rotted in the bag. That so we've been wild. replacing them, but we realized we can't do that. It, we can only ship them fresh. If they're fresh, they do great, and there's never been a problem. But if we hold them for a week and then ship them, they crash. In the two to three days it takes to get them delivered, they're, they're, so if any of you got plants from us, uh, the plant bag plants that were failed, please get back to me and let me know and we will replace it immediately. No questions asked. So um, we're, that, that's not going to happen again. I guarantee it. We're taking Absolutely. serious steps to achieve some quality control. And one of them is if we have plants left over the end of the week, they go in the trash. We're not even trying to save them. So who's this? We have... Hi, uh, hi, Father Fish. Hi, hi, uh, Dina. I, I've been bugging you quite a bit on uh, the shawl, I guess. So you must already have seen my tank. So this is my uh, uh, 40 liter tank. I'm, I'm, I'm talking from Kerala, India, and this is my first Father Fish tank. So this yeah. is basically the, this is basically. I, I don't know if you can actually see my tank properly, but yeah, this is the dirted layer that I have. The two inches of soil substrate, and then uh the tank that i have so i've basically uh, used uh, 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 some of the basic uh, you know uh, beginner plants out here i had a list of uh, i mean uh, so you can see a bit of anubias out here you can see uh, i have got valisneria behind i've got some uh, floating plants that's demosum uh, and then uh, uh, you've got a bit of uh, uh driftwood out there and then uh, uh yeah so you, uh, the, the fishes that i've used are basically uh, a bit of stibus corries and there's a bit of uh, uh neon tetras out here so that's that's basically the starting it, it looks that wonderful Vic. yeah it looks yeah, yeah. looks really nice now you put you've been putting this uh, the the supplement together haven't you Yes, yes. How yes. is that coming? How are oh, you doing that, with it? That, that's, that's going excellent. Actually, uh, I was a little bit skeptical if I could source all those uh, materials in India. Uh, but I managed to get everything, including that guano and all your supplements. All of that, I got it. I basically used uh, choco peat, uh, and then I used, uh, what was the other substrate? I used uh, vermicompost, and then I used the potting soil as a base. And then I added all the, I got all the minerals actually, all the supplements. Wonderful. And so, now, are uh, you interested in putting that together and marketing it? Because we, we can help I, you I sell am. it. I am. You I am. I, I wonderful. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I've been looking for a, an Indian connection. So, you need yeah. to, uh, we'll talk more on Discord and I'll put sure. you in touch with Jeremy and, and we'll sure. get you up there. We'll get, we'll make this happen. That's exciting. Sure. Wonderful. Sure. Well, thank you so much. I'm glad you came up. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Father Vish. Nice talking Happy to you. Happy to meet you, Vivek. Bye for now.
Bye. Bye for now. Love it, thanks. How about that? Yeah. Yeah, I love yeah, the he, show and tell, just seeing all the different tanks. Oh, it's, I know. It's wonderful, isn't it? It really yeah, it is. is. Yeah. Uh, what do we got? We got 15 more minutes. So anyway, I did tell the story finally. Let it let it all hang out. So, <laughs> so uh, but it was, uh, I'm not glad it happened because a lot of people were upset about it. We were all upset about it, but it taught us an important lesson that because we get plants and we hold them for a week, sometimes two weeks, uh, sometimes even longer if they'll hold up. We do have vats. A lot of them go into, into vats with sand in them with that are lit. So we're able to hold things like the swords and the vowel, uh, those hold real well. The Anubias and Crypts hold up pretty well refrigerated. Um, one thing to keep in mind, if you get a plant like a Crypt and the leaves are wilted on it, but the root system is still strong and healthy, plant that root because it will grow and it will put out new leaves. It, all wow, is not lost. I mean, I'll, I will replace if if you get a plant from me, and the leaves are wilted, I'll replace it. But don't throw that root away. I've had them. I've had them sometimes take as long as as six months to start growing, and then they just flourished. So if the root is solid, still white, still mm -hmm. solid, still firm. Get it down in the substrate and give it a chance. Hey, that's good to know because I didn't realize they would come back like that. Oh, they that absolutely. Is, yeah, if the root's good, they will. Absolutely. That is amazing. Yeah, the I root's no the key idea. to the plant. Yep. Somebody was talking about that recently, and I can't remember who it was. It was some big, uh, it was a woman was talking about roots and the and the importance of protecting the root because the root is the key to the plant, which is why fertilizer is so damaging to plants because it prevents the roots from, from doing their job, from reaching out and looking for, searching for nutrients. So yeah, in a way it kind of makes the roots lazy. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. So the root system becomes becomes very weak because it doesn't have to work hard. Uh, and then it, at some point you pay the piper or the plant does when it reaches a point where it really needs to be stronger, where it's got a huge amount of stem and leaf and maybe it's trying to flower and it can't do it. And it can suffer. It can struggle and die at that point. So don't use fertilizers. They are destructive of the natural growth process of the plant. They have value in farming because they produce specifically what the farmer is trying to produce, which is fruit or maybe the leaves. And they do that very effectively. Uh, and the farmer has no interest in the root system because it's it's a, a brief season for those plants anyway. But if you want a plant that's going to grow normally, you cannot afford to uh, fertilize it. Who's here? Ryan. You're sideways. There he is. Uh, yeah, I was trying to see if I could get it on the back oh, canvas okay. here. You're and outdoors. You are oh, yeah. outdoors. What are you doing out there? Oh, wow. There we go. That's what I'm doing out here. <laughs> oh, nice. Look at Beautiful. that. What do you have in wow. it? Wow. Mostly local stuff, but uh, also clear. some things out of my uh, out of my aquarium. So we got uh, Bacopa out of a drainage ditch. Um, Starwort out of the local reservoir. Don't tell anyone. Uh, Ludwigia from the same place. Mm. 
Yuppie grass from the aquarium, frogwood from the aquarium, more bagopa, yeah, just nice. Oh, nice. more and more from the aquarium. That water is so crystal clear too. That's really nice. Yep. Yeah, pretty. All I do is run this little air stoner. Now, Sidious, for those of you who don't know, is the has come up with the concept for the newsletter and got the first one out. We're we're trying to get the next one together. I still haven't done my bit yet. <laughs> Yeah, the rest of it's ready to go. <laughs> uh, everything but me, figures, part for the course. <laughs> hey, you're a busy man. That's it. Isn't that nice? That's wonderful. That's I love I love outdoor vats. I got a bunch of them here. Yeah, yeah, I like little... them too, but they don't look like that. That's amazing. Made a little it rock refuge yeah. in here. That way, all the copepods. Uh, I got some Madaka that. Well, they were supposed to arrive today, but it's currently in shipping wow. limbo. Uh, last reported out sometime in Florida, but uh, they've been there wow. for 24 hours now. I don't know what's going to happen. Who'd you get them from? Uh, Daku Aquatics. Okay. Okay. They're well, pretty they're, good. And they're all over they're, Yeah, they're, they're a legit company. Yep. Nice, Ryan. Very nice. And thank you so much for all your support and help yep. on the discord it really really does yep. mean a lot city that needs identified that's that's what i do amen amen bless you yep. who's here peace oh look at this kenny is here hey kenny where'd he go peace love oh no it's not it's puppies it's me there she is. I love your tank. <laughs> Thanks. I just wanted to give you an update on this one. It's finally cleared out. I added some lucky bamboo and got some more plants from your store and some driftwood. Nice. And then this one is still cloudy, but I know that's my fault because I have to do the as above, as below thing. Oh, my word. Do you think it'll clear up? Oh, yeah, it yeah. will. Sometimes they just take a while. Okay. I've got one, um, a 75, that's taken a month, but it's finally clearing up. Okay. I swear I can't stop clutching my pearls. <laughs> well, you know, you need to, you, you need to, um, you, you need to commit to the contract. I am. I, I haven't. You know. <laughs> the tank since we talked last time other than adding in some thor's hammer that i ordered from you and oh, aren't they a couple, wonderful a couple pieces of driftwood cool and yeah and then i got a beautiful root system from the peace lilies i rescued from walmart well the sunset is another magnificent fern like the thor's hammer just wonderful fern yeah. every week or so i'm gonna buy plants because i keep getting more tanks so <laughs> Sounds perfect. Multi tank syndrome. <laughs> Absolutely. We've all got it. You bet. You bet. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yep. Thank you, Father Fish. Uh, yeah. Say hi. Hi, Father Fish. Hi, baby. How are you? Aww. What is your name? Petra. P E T R A. Petra. I love your name. Thank you. Oh, it's still on the tank. I don't know. <laughs> no, there it is. I forget about the lag. <laughs> the lag. Right. Right. <laughs> Bye guys, thank you. Bye, love you, Father Fish. <laughs> Let's see. Who is this? Danny. Yeah. Don, yeah, Danny. Hi, Danny. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. What you got here? Oh, I love this. Yeah, so I set this up. I was on here a few weeks Last ago. Last week. Yeah, right. I remember that sculpture. That's amazing. The plants are really starting to take off. They are, yeah. Little sprouts are coming up. Cool. So it's been working out really well. Is that octopus in the back? It looks. It like. is, yeah. Yeah, that's and nice. On the bottom, they're all starting to sprout up. I don't think I have it on my list. I need to try to remember to do that. But when I put them in, they were up to maybe this height. Yeah. And they've come up that they much. They do. They grow so well. Yeah, yeah. It's a nice plant. 
They grow fast too. <laughs> Tell us again. about. Tell us about that sculpture again. Where? It's. I just ordered it on Amazon. So there's a company that makes this sculpture. You can actually combine them as one, and they fit together. Huh. But they make them all different sizes for the various tank sizes. What's it called? Do you know? I don't. I think I just looked up. Um, aquarium sculpture? Or yeah, what? like aquarium stone. Really? This wow. It's hold very on. cool. Yeah. It's such yeah, a it neat is. design. Yeah. Somebody I, was saying if that's a natural structure, it's valuable. Yeah. Can you imagine? And then the... Uh, I got some loaches, and they're going to work on the algae. Oh, cool. So, huh. I did do CO2 in this tank. Yeah. Which I don't think I had that when I showed it. But so you've got it now, do you? Yeah, there's a few. I see. There. Oh, yeah, I see I it. I got a little tank back here. Yeah. It'll give you growth. Yeah. It'll give you growth. It, uh. It's kind of the same issue in many ways. The deep substrate does create a lot of CO2. Yeah, I went pretty deep on this one. It's about that thick. Cause oh, the nice. All the way yeah. to the bottom. Cool. Cool. And Looking then, good. I like it. This one over here. This was supposed to be pearl weed, but as it's grown, or it was supposed to be Monte Carlo. But as it's grown in, I'm realizing it's pearl weed. Pearl weed, yeah. So oh. I think I got a little bit of. Uh, I do. I did get some Monte Carlo in. It. Uh, I'm. I'm not real happy with it. it. It came in cups, and I took it all out today, and put it in water. Some of it was browned out. So yeah. I don't, but I also have Sasvasser tank on on screens, which I absolutely hate. But there it is. So we've got. A couple of things. There, it's early in the season, and it's hard to get those kinds of cover plants. Yeah, because they just haven't grown in yet. Yeah, Later the, on, we'll we'll have them in clumps. All the Monte Carlo just kind of died out. It's popping back up in some spots, but the pearl weed's taken over. Well, you know, the roots are. It, it's it's a root thing. You yeah. know, as so long as it's in there. It, it can come back as long as the roots are in there. This light, too, was cool. I just got this on Amazon by Heiger. Yeah. And it's on completely automatic. It starts up like an orange color at the sunrise. Uh-huh. And then it fades off throughout the day back to the moon color and then off. Yeah, they're neat. I don't have to worry about turning it on and off with too much light. Right, right, right. It's got a built-in timer, too, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And then I got some red root floaters. They'll be all right. Nice. Yeah. Cool. Thank you, Danny. What's Yeah. I love it. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Nice to have you come up. Thank you. Thanks for having me. You bet. Bye for now. Bye. Yeah, right. Well, we're we're down to we're down to two minutes. Let's see, uh, April fifth. I need to look this up. I'm going to be in in um, Delaware, Pennsylvania, wherever in the world that is, at a club meeting. Be doing, well, that'll be, awesome. be a Friday evening, uh, and then I'm planning to hang out on Saturday. Now there's a big convention that weekend in somewhere I think it's in New England I think it's going to be too far for me to get to but I'm going to try to hang out that's it's almost mid Jersey but on the Pennsylvania side yeah. uh, up above Bucks County I think that sounds like that's going to be fun yeah I'm going to take uh, Brenda and Ron with me we did that last year at, at the Clash, and we'll do it again for this one. In fact, we've done a couple of things like that together. So there's that. Saturday, 
Saturday at 7 with Lucas. Be back here Sunday. And look for a new video on the contract. The contract. Make yeah, I can't wait fun. to see that one. That'll be fun. I'm looking forward to it as well. We'll have to come up with a curious twist to it, but make a contract with nature. All right, guys. Love you all. Wonderful to be here. Thanks, Dana. For, for Thank you, Father in. Fish. You bet. And see you all uh, later in the week. We'll be here Sunday. Sunday evening at uh, like 6 to 8, right? Pop in a little early and hang out with us. Absolutely. All right. Bye, for Bye guys. Bye-bye.